brilliant now writing positive and negative integers to represent word descriptions so let's understand what do you mean by writing positive and negative integers okay how many of you have gone to the bank with your mom or dad me good have you seen a passbook any time priscilla yes. did you it does have any checkbook no 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 not a checkbook passbook yes sir yes we have seen it once is saying yes, yes sir. so yes so what can you say about that once in a check in a in a you know what do you call passbook what kind of numbers you generally see integers very good you see integers <laughs> no 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 i am saying uh, have you ever seen positive and negative implication of numbers Yes. On a passbook, the amount, uh, the amount which is drawn and the amount which amount is uh, positive. Very good, very good. So one of the classic examples is, say, let's assume your dad has uh, in his account, say, fifty thousand rupees. Okay, he has fifty thousand rupees. Fifty thousand is it an integer? Yes. Yes, it's an integer. Let's assume yes. your mom goes to the bank and deposits ten thousand rupees into the account. So if she goes to a bank and deposits ten thousand rupees, so that means what is she doing? So she that's deposits. 10, so what happens 10, is you will see when she deposits that that adds up to the bank account, and the money that will be shown in the account 50, will be sixty thousand, right? So what's happening here? Yeah. So there is addition happening. So here you are. What is happening? This is a deposition. So when your mom is depositing that money. Right, deposition is happening. Depositing that money that is becoming plus ten thousand. Let's assume after four or five days, your mom goes to the ATM and withdraws five thousand rupees. So now she has sixty thousand rupees. Now she is she is withdrawing five thousand. So what happens? You know, if you see her bank statement, what will it will show is there will be negative. So sixty thousand minus five thousand. so that will be 55000 so you can see the representation so whenever you withdraw when you are withdrawing okay the mathematical notation of withdrawal will be negative number therefore it's negative 5000 so negative integer so that withdrawing is negative depositing is positive so you just need to understand the perspective here yes very good anyone can give me and more please go what temperature very good temperature come on explain me temperature um normally in uh, in celsius we take it as 0 degrees very below 0 degrees celsius it is a negative integer which is minus uh 13 degrees celsius is anything or yeah. any and anything above 0 degrees celsius is a positive integer okay. which is anything else okay so let me very good priscilla but let me explain it little better so let's assume in summer your temperatures go up to 40 degrees so we will say that as plus 40 degrees centigrade whereas in freezing cold winter let's assume on say second or you know say something like 27th december or something like that when the cold is very high uh, you know so if you go to places like jammu and kashmir or maybe like himachal pradesh shimla you will see there the temperatures will be negative freezing temperatures at times so you know you get something like minus 5 degrees so the temperature in that case we represent as minus 5 degrees centigrade right so that's how you talk about plus and minus okay very good So, we can even represent above the sea level below the sea level yeah that's a beautiful example above the sea level so if we have the sea level so generally you take sea level as zero and say let's assume uh, your house is say uh, say you are you live in a 20th floor of a building that each floor is space say let's assume 10 meters not 10 meters is huge say let's assume uh, 3 meters so you have 20 floors of building so 3 into 20 60 meters so let's assume your building is you know you have a nice uh, apartment building which is say let's assume the top notch of that is say you know let's assume it is 100 meters up okay 
So you say plus 100 meters here. And let's assume there is a fish or a whale. I don't know what. So let's assume it is uh, some, uh, say, 50 meters below the sea. Say it is 50 meters below the sea. We represent that as minus 50 meters. Assuming sea level, we assume it as zero. So it's once again up. It is north direction, therefore we take it positive and down, which is a, you know, we take it as negative. So that's the reason it is minus 50 meters. I'm very bad at drawing, so you will draw yourself, okay? Ah, that's your fish, okay? I'm sorry, very bad fish, right? But that's okay. So you got the point, right? Below the sea level, we say minus 50 meters above the water, which is 100 meters.